with our experiments, the astronauts will be able to teleoperate a rover outside of the habitats. And the goal is that we build the best interface possible. If you're looking at the robots, you can see exactly what it's doing. But when you have a physical separation from the robot, then all of the information that you have is given to you through the screen. So if this uh, information is not effective, then you have a challenge. We were part of Amadi 20 mission. For Amadi 24, we want to bring our previous interface where the astronauts can physically feel what is happening with the robot. And they do this by using a glove. Inside of this glove, there's a series of vibration motors that will vibrate with different patterns. They can also tell this device. If the robot is pitching up, we can feel it in our hands. We have vision, audio, tactile nose, uh, taste. We also want the analog astronauts to perceive the world in such a way. I am an aerospace engineer by training. I started in search and rescue robots. At some point taught robotics for this class of girls to promote female STEM. My background is in software engineering. I'm specialized in human-computer interaction and human factors. Our research also applies to other fields here on Earth. People who have some uh, physical disability to be able to use a robotic arm or a robotic vehicle. The Austin Space Forum has been doing a wonderful work on organizing all of these on engaging scientific community and, and improving our the way that we do research. We want to also participate in this bigger story where we collaborate with the different teams, the mission center, where they tell us what information do they have. We run our task, our astronauts will teleoperate the rover and we can output a valuable information that they can use for the next task. So we want to also be part of this exploration cascade, which is this bigger picture of the story we're trying to say with Amadi 24.